Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker here. We're at Baxter Cycle and look what I have found today. This is a good friend of mine's motorcycle. He is a kind of a fanatic when it comes to these things. This is a Royal Enfield Interceptor 650. It's a 648cc parallel twin. Puts out about 47 horsepower in stock form. About 39 foot-pounds of torque. That's about uh, 53 newton meters. It's a Overhead cam, four valve per cylinder engine, six speed transmission, air and oil cooled, dual injected. It's just it's just a real beauty of a motorcycle. I've ridden several of these. You've seen probably seen several of my videos of these. It's got the uh, 41 uh, millimeter forks in the front here. The uh, travel here is about four and a third or four four point three inches. It's about uh, I think it's 110 millimeters. Twin shock on the rear with about uh, three and a half inches of travel. It's 89 millimeters. The brake on the front, let's get a good look at that. It's a 320 millimeter full floating disc. Check that out. Isn't that neat? It's a vibrator with dual pots and a floating caliper. So two pistons on one side, floating caliper with a floating disc. ABS, of course. Then we jump back here to the rear. It's a 240 millimeter single pot fixed disc. <laughs> You know, I'm telling you these details, but uh, that's probably not what you're interested in right now, is it? Uh, this, this bike is, oozes with everything. Uh, it's got the, this motorcycle has a 55.1 inch wheelbase. That's about 1400 millimeters seat height in stock form. This is not in stock form. It is 31.7. That's about uh, 805 millimeters. Fuel tank, 3.6 gallons, but there's nothing stock about that fuel tank now, is there? Size is probably stock. That's about uh, 13 and a half, 14 liters, something like that. These are supposed to weigh 440 pounds, something like that. Well, it should be just over 200 kilos, 210 kilos, something like that. Just a gorgeous machine. But now, let's throw the spec book out and take a look at what we got here. I just don't even know where to start. Let's start with the engine. Right away, you notice the two into one tech header. All the way from the front, all the way to the back. Just a gorgeous thing. We'll run that up here in a bit. Um, he's got a little oil, British flag oil cooler cover. Skid plate on the bottom. Gee, why does he have a skid plate? Well, the same reason he's got these tires. <laughs> these Dunlop K180s. Now, why would you have those on this bike, right? This is his dirt bike. This is kind of a rugged off-road, all-around machine, do-it-all motorcycle. He, uh... He loves that kind of stuff, and uh, that's why he's got it. That's why he's got the, uh, you know, the rock guard on the front here, the wider handlebars. He's just done everything. Um, let's start with some of the some of the other more obvious things. Look at this tank, stock tank. They stripped it down. They did all kinds of. I wish he was here to tell us what they did, but they, you know, there's a lot of detail here. And if you look at it. You know, this custom pinstriping, and I think the guy's name is Pudge. Pug, Pudge, something like that. He's real famous in these parts for this kind of work. Just absolutely amazing. Uh, trip machine side covers on the tank. These badges are like the ones on the 120 year old, I'm sorry, like the 120 year anniversary bike. Very neat looking. I think they're bronze or something like that. Just a lot of work just in that tank. He's a chiropractor, so these are some symbols for that kind of thing, and I'm not sure what they mean. But uh, anyway, just a beautiful, beautiful amount of work here. Absolutely lovely. So that's, you know, <laughs> a tank and the engine. Wow, well, already, right? Uh, let's just stay with the body of the bike for now. Time machine bags, these wingman bags. So uh, they look like they're, you know, got these latches on them, but they've actually got these finger clips so you can open them like that open them up there's a zipper pouch and then there's an open pouch here where you can keep things so to close them it's the same thing just you know snap them in like that very easy he's got them on both sides very easy to keep things in the seat is another one of these custom jobbies royal and filled very low very uh you know it's got the diamond pattern top brown 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 diamond patterns just a really good looking motorcycle in that sense. He's really done a lot and you know, I'm sure he's gonna do more because that's uh, his personality. 
just an incredibly well done motorcycle. I think this is actually one of the best. Uh, I'm anyway, just amazing bike. Um, coming back here, he's got the uh, custom tail light on it. Look at these little blinkers, Diablo blinkers. Check those out. Can you even see them? They just kind of vanish into the bike. Same here on the front. Custom brackets for the headlight. You know, they already talked about the cover. Just a gorgeous, there's the blinker. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous machine. You know, I know I'm going to miss things here, guys, but uh, this thing is just, just an amazing thing. Okay, let's jump up to the bars. So the bars immediately, the bars themselves are different. Uh, when I sat on this bike, first thing I noticed was how wide the bars were. Very wide. Um, he's, and you know, on a dirt bike, that's what you want. He's got risers up here, so they're raised up. He's got these diamond grips on. These are probably bill wells, my guess. He's got these shorty levers on here that are adjustable for throw this way. Let's get over here. You can see here, see that we're in the lowest setting on this bike. So watch this distance here. Increased. Decreased. And, uh, you know, just a really neat, easy to do. I, I've seen that on a few bikes. Run. There's a, I wonder if the brand is visible on that. It isn't. Uh, I've seen that on a few bikes here, and uh, you can get. By the way, all these things he got here at Baxter Cycle, all these add-ons, they you know these are all, and they've got a wall of parts just for uh, Royal Enfield interceptors and uh, Continental GTs. It is nothing but parts like this for those bikes. Just absolutely gorgeous. Anyway, jumping back over here, the mirror, you know, kind of a neat look, uh, you know, rugged looking mirror. Um, let me sit on the bike. Just. You know, really pretty. I did say it was a chiropractor. You notice that? But, uh, let's run this thing up. That's the tech pipe. We'll give it a minute to warm up. But what a nice place to be, huh? Look, look at all this. I mean, that's just gorgeous. Just gorgeous work. Beautifully done in every way. He only has, uh, it says less than 400 miles on his bike. Like I said, he's been working on it. Uh, it it's really quite a machine. Boy, I like that sound. Check out the tack. <laughs> what a bike, what a bike. Oh. This is what it's all about with these, uh, the Royal Enfield line of motorcycles, virtually every one of their bikes is so customizable, but these 650 interceptors, I think really lend themselves to that in a big way. Uh, just amazing what you can do with these. Just a beautiful, beautiful machine, isn't it? I love it. I love it. You know what? I want to start it again. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what happens here. Check that out. We did a video a while back comparing uh, Zard slip-ons, SNS pipes, two to two. And the uh, tech, and this is a this was the example that we used for the tech pipe, and it's really quite a good sounding motorcycle. And I would say in that comparison, this had the most volume and uh, a very good sound. But isn't that just a beautiful thing? Just a gorgeous, gorgeous machine. I love it. If you all are interested in something like this, new or used Royal Enfield or Triumph, get yourself down here to Baxter Cycle, BaxterCycle.com. Those guys can help you out. You need accessories for your bike like this? Get a hold of those guys. Like I said, BaxterCycle.com. Now, if it's nice where you're at, get out there and ride, my friends. Wahoo!